Let's turn in these swords. Have you located any Canari blades? This is what I found. My task is complete. Your part in this will be noted. Oh, is that I all of them? Perfect. Um, a bow. Okay, interesting. Um, so that does remind me. The only thing to update on. Well, I guess I did all the things to update on. Uh, I went ahead and gave everybody runes and their stuff. Um, so everyone pretty much has the exact same runes. Um, all attributes plus two, and then either armor or defense, depending on their build. Um, the tank actually gets both because it didn't favor either. But uh, for the rogue, we gave her some defense there because right here you already see she's at like 80. So I figured I don't know if it can go over cap, like, you know, hidden numbers or whatever, but fuck it. So evasion, we'll, we'll call them what it is. Gave her evasion. Um, oddly enough, looking at the, the mage, the mage actually had more armor than evasion, so I gave the mage some armor, and again, the tank had both, so I just said fuck it, just give it both, probably not efficient, doesn't matter, these are pretty negligible, it's really just a plus two, uh, to all attributes that affects everyone the most, um, and then there's me, and I'm the one who has the biggest change, uh, in terms of the gear, uh, I gave myself armor, so... Again, defense. I gave myself normal armor, not evasion, because I already have maxed out evasion. Um, as well as... Plus two uh, all attributes. Yeah, so I, I went all attributes and uh, armor. But the biggest thing is the weapon. So I've been using this Hawk's Key from the first DLC. Um... Because it has good stats, but the biggest thing is it ignores enemy armor. And in my testing, that showed that it was like 75% stronger than a weapon that was doing the same amount of damage. So I would need to get a new bow doing drastically more damage. Well, one of the DLC bows that was like in the um, like storage in the house, so I went through all that stuff. One of the DLC bows had... 33% crit damage and higher attack, but the big thing is it had plus 84 damage versus demons and undead, which I assume is roughly what we're fighting for the rest of the game, and it had two slots open. So now when we compare these both, the other one is doing 135 and ignoring armor. This one is doing 168 plus 33% more crit damage, which I had basically 100% crit chance, plus 38% more attack speed, so higher DPS. Now, all of those I still think are probably worse than, you know, the ignore armor, but the thing that I'm hoping will put this new bow over the top is when we're fighting demons and undead, that extra 84. Because that should be better than the 75% increase. Um, can't really test it um, until we like, get out. And at this point, fuck it, we'll keep this bow. But against demons and undead, I'm pretty damn confident this thing will be stronger. It's against the non-demons and non-undead where I don't know if it actually will or not. Um, so, I don't know, we'll see, but I figured since this could be modded, that 38% attack speed is actually fucking insane. <laughs> and again, my crit chance is, oh, I'm over 100% crit chance, so I'm guaranteed to crit all the time. Um, so 33% crit damage is just, just another 33% in general. Um, so if we, if we can, maybe I'd test it, but like, I think for the most part, I'll just keep this bow and say fuck it. But yeah, everyone has some armor. Most of the changes are minor. Um, but for me, it's the bow that might make a difference. Alright. Um, Dark Town. Oh, they have a bunch of stuff. Meryl, Varric, and Aveline. Alright. Well, we're here. Uh, nothing's here, yeah.
Good day to you, sir. Meryl? Done everything wrong. I'm still here. Kirkwall isn't a pile of rubble. You've done a few things right. <sighs> That's sheer luck. I should have done this years ago. You were right. You were always right. No keeper, no clan, no people. I have nobody but you. What will I do now? There's no reason you can't keep trying to find out about your people's past. I suppose I can do that even without the mirror. Maybe all my training as a keeper won't go to waste after all. Thank you. Me. Hey. That just will come into play with the epilogue stuff. Alright, Varric. There's two things with Varric. Listen, Hawk. I don't know what came over me back there in Bartrand's house. I'm glad you're watching my back. That's what I'm here for. That and doing all the fighting. You know what I like about you, Hawk? Your humility. What are you having? Edwina, let's get a couple of drinks here. Hawk? Ugh. This is awkward. You? At a loss for words? I should mark this day on my calendar. Enjoy this while it lasts. It might never happen again. <laughs> Look, I just want to say, it has been an honor knowing you. You're a good friend, Varric. I know. It's hard to imagine what you'd do without me. You know it's six years today. Six years since I found you dragging your tail out of Bartrand's office. <laughs> Here's to whatever comes next. The anniversary, all right. Uh, Aveline? Back out to keep, yeah. I wonder if I should try It wasn't your place. Champion or not, this was my concern, not yours. I do what you can't, and you've taken advantage more than once. I'm the captain. The guards need to see me lead. Never again. Do you hear me? Never. Captain, we're waiting for orders. Will you accept them? May I speak freely? There isn't a man or woman here who wouldn't follow you through the void. Captain. I'll take it. Get out, Hawk. My guardsmen need me. I think that was a bit of an overreaction, but okay. Alright, so we can go ahead and do Dark Town. Magical Entrance. Didn't matter, hopefully, day or night. Let's not tag me overworld, but it's also not tagged here. There's a sewer passage. Not magical entrance, but I 
Man, this shouldn't be it. Nothing should be here. Now there was something here before for the uh, quest. Not there now. There definitely shouldn't be any kind of entrance around here. Oh, there you go. I was wrong. Hidden there. Okay, let's see what this is. This was all like the demons we were fighting randomly. Oh. Okay. The seals are gone. Foolish wards held by pretenders. What is this? The true source is missing. The power unheld. But I command a peace. The true source? What do you claim to have? <laughs> Fragments of every fool who held a throne. Here or in the black, I am pride with reason. I enslave the whims and weirds. The dreams from the other side of the veil! Face me! Face everything! Okay. Ibris. Not sure if it's a dot. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, good. Um, now that she has that in, she can start debuffing him. You're doing great damage. So I no longer need to get the pinpoint strikes because I already have guaranteed crits. on cooldown, that's why. Oh well, let's do this. Um, it would be dead soon, but might as well keep debuffing it so it doesn't hurt us as much. We're in great shape so far, but... Shade. Are you? Hmm. Um. So here's my crit combo again. That bam. Or Isabella. <laughs> Two point five percent chance to enslave normal enemies. What does enslave mean? Make them fight on your side? That's interesting. Alright. That's the main quest.
I could have tested my bow against him, but again, fuck it, we'll just keep this. Because that was obviously a demon, so that was the best case scenario. I was potentially doing more damage than the old bow. But again, whatever, it doesn't matter. Alright. Best served cold. Alright, so this isn't her. Oh, it's a uh, him. Alright, makes sense. Thank you for coming, champion. Few will associate with me now that I am the focus of Meredith's ire, which leaves me in a difficult position. She is not entirely wrong. I know some of my people are using dangerous means to oppose her, but I cannot seek the Templar's aid without making every mage a target. Fear of the Templars doesn't justify going soft on blood mages. I don't know if they're using blood magic or just visiting their families. All I know is that a meeting is happening tonight in Hightown. I would go myself, but should I leave the tower without permission, Meredith would call it proof of my involvement. I'll see what they're up to. There's no point in involving the Templars. Thank you. Your support has been a lifeline yeah, for me. I mean, I want to see it for myself Just learn first. the nature of this meeting. You needn't interrupt unless you find proof of something sinister. I pray not. Or Meredith will have what she needs to justify the right of annulment. A right of annulment, because this is pretty important. Uh... In the 83rd year, one of the mages of the Circle was found practicing forbidden magic. Templars executed him with this brood discontent among the Circle. Three months later, mages summoned the demon and turned it loose in the Templars. After killing the first wave of Templars, demon took possession of one of the summoners. Grand Cleric sent the Legion of Templars to hunt the fugitive. Killed the abomination a year later. Divine Galatea, responding to the catastrophe, granted all Grand Clerics of the Chantry power to purge a circle entirely if they rule it irredeemable. And that is the right of annulment. You purge an entire circle. And the circle being the uh, group of mages of this region. Where are they meeting at in the house? Right here? Someone's coming. The champion. We know you're spying for Orsino. Run. We'll handle this. That's why we should have snuck in. Like, duh. So Templars and Mage is meeting up. Okay. Get a stun on the Mage immediately. Um, you can go in and then stun the group afterwards. So 
search the bodies, where there's this many, there's bound to be more. Uh, Sebastian rune shot and uh, rune slot next to notes. Will not tell you again, not safe to bring new recruits to meetings. Meredith has eyes everywhere. Bring anyone who claims to be against her to the warehouse. We must ensure their loyalty. Shall we go to the warehouse? Try to find their leadership? Alright. Well, so obviously, it seems like a coup. Might have traps. That should do it. I told you she was hunting us. No, not her. I can't do this. Back, they won't even talk to me. Definitely an issue. Yeah, I'm gonna stun him. Hunter. Did he just one shot the hunter? What the hell? I know he disappeared. I was gonna say, like, there's no way he got one shot there. I told them not to do it, I swear. If I knew you were the one they were talking about, I'd have warned you. I don't hold with kidnapping. Not after what I went through. They were kidnapping. Tell me the truth. I'm in no mood for games. They said someone was spying. We needed leverage. Someone they cared about, as a hostage. We just got word they pulled some girl from the circle. A sister, I think. You bastards kidnapped my sister. We weren't going to hurt her. Just make sure you left us alone. Do you understand? Thrask says Meredith will cause open war with the mages if she stays in charge. We have to take her down. Is this whole thing to oust the Knight Commander? She needs to go, don't you see? We need a real Viscount and Templars who protect mages, not massacre them. Just look what Thrask accomplished. Mages and Templars working together. Isn't that what we all want? Is Thrask the one running this conspiracy? He's the one who brought us together. 
For six years, he's been working, one mage, one Templar at a time, teaching us we don't have to hate each other. He showed us Meredith isn't the only way. I thought Cullen threw you out of the Templars. He did, but I can't just sit this out. The Knight Commander needs to go. That's what Thrask says. Without her, we have a chance at peace. What are you going to do to Thrask? To me? I'm not getting involved in this. Let the Templars decide what to do with you. No, please. I'm not doing it to don't get involved in this thing. This, I'm turning she'll kill us. She'll kill every mage, even if they weren't involved. Your, your friend is on the wounded coast. We use the ruins there as a base. Turn him in? If I wasn't with you, that might have been me trussed up in that ruin. I I'll go back to Marcia's. Please, don't tell Meredith about me. It would kill Marcia if I got in trouble. Hmm. I mean, it's tricky, because I, I want him to face justice. But it is true that if we tell Meredith, like, it's going to be more than just justice. Hmm. I mean, I think I have to tell her anyway. She, she's going to learn of this regardless somehow. Like, I'm making too much noise. And I know that there is some commotion and mages and templars, so I, I might as well just tell her myself. That's my logic with it. Front. This would explain why this area had nothing here. It was a little odd. been sticking your nose in every problem in Kirkwall since you stumbled off the boat. Who are you again? Samson. I'm the one who fouled up your lad Fainriel's escape some years ago. Further back, I was a Templar, but that was before your time. Are the mages here using blood magic? It always comes down to that, don't it? They claim innocence, demand equality, but back them into a corner, and they got options we don't. 
Haven't found a mage yet who won't take it. I'm looking for Thrask. You don't sound happy. Last I heard, you two were close. So were we once. Of course, that was before Meredith kicked me out of the Templars. Thrask knew she was a bitch then, but he still thought he could change things from the inside. I hoped he would. It sounds like you've had a change of heart. I'd hoped with Meredith gone I could take up the shield again. But maybe she was right. Give him a hint of freedom, mages go bad. Mm -hmm. Again. <laughs> this is where... I just wanted to go pro Templar. Such a bad choice though, but like... Every side is bad. I do agree Meredith shouldn't be in charge of the city, and she's getting extreme. But at the same time, again, this is where, like, you know, I would definitely not choose this option, but fuck, we're going pro-Templar, and, like, the rationale is... We're not agreeing with her extremeness, but, like, we still want her not leading the city. But, but we, we want the Templars doing the job, right? Again, I just fuck it, we're pro Templar, whatever. Every mage seems willing to use blood magic in the name of freedom. They can't be trusted. Wisely said. Much as I hate it, I think you're right. And Meredith's lost more people to this movement than she knows. She needs men she can trust. If you go after Thrask, I'll gather the Templars I know who are still loyal. Maybe I can earn my shield back after all. So, we'll roleplay. I said that many mages are doing that and I need to be watched. I'm not like outright anti mage, but like it's becoming more and more and more evident that so many more mages are converting. That again, we don't want Meredith fully in charge of the city, and we agree Meredith herself specifically is a problem. But the mages are also a problem. Again, it's just. Just an awful choice, but fuck it. The best way to try and logic out of this. I suppose it was too much to hope that you wouldn't have come here. Well, I cannot understand why you support Meredith still. It was not the Circle that kept Fainreal safe from demons. It was you. Please, champion. I have nothing but respect for you. It's Meredith we must see gone. <sighs> and again, I'm trying to logic through choosing Pro Templar. Bear with me. But like again, if their whole thing is to, we just want to replace Meredith, yet they're kidnapping my family. They're doing bad stuff, obviously. Your cause is just, but I take issue with your methods. I should have known you recognize the threat Meredith poses. I am sorry for any distress we caused you or your friends. Let the hostage go. No, the girl dies. Then the champion. Stand down, Grace. Grace, I knew we should have let the Templars slay her. We will not kill an innocent to achieve our ends. It gains us nothing to become Meredith. Meredith. What do I care for Meredith? I'm here for the champion. Yeah, see? Yeah, I know. What, three only sane people in the city. Yeah. Alright. I've been wondering when you'd come back to bite me in the ass. I would rather die a hundred times than endure one more hour in this circle. I have been counting the days to get my revenge. Elaine, kill the hostage! I... I don't know, Grace. Are 
I guess a life of quiet contemplation didn't suit you. This isn't right, Grace. Meredith's the one you should hate. Don't defy me, boy. Without me, you'd be nothing. If you're too squeamish, I'll do it myself. No. No one has to die here. <laughs> oh, but that's where you're wrong. Restrain yourself. Again, this, this is where they like, encourage Pro Templar. Yeah, exactly. Forget the hostage. Kill the champion. Yep. Okay. Gonna be dead easy. There's other waves. Go ahead and do the AoE. Start taking out some other people. Five demons. I was gonna say, where's my heal at? Okay. I'm gonna need another heal. Death would be dead regardless, but I guess stun on him. Turn that off. Can't turn it off. There you go. And get the kill. I don't even need a mark of death. I just kill him. I tried to stay away from her, you know, after Decimus, but. The circle here is worse than Starkhaven ever was. It seemed like hers was the only way out. Interesting. I... I'm sorry. Grace used blood magic to hold her. That's the only way I can bring her out. So he's actually telling us that the circle is pretty much all corrupted. Which is really... Yeah. Making pro Templar the last be a thing bit I remember easier. Is these Templars coming into my quarters. I promise, I'll never let anything like this happen again. Thank you. It's good to know you're still looking out for me. I got here as soon as I. Oh, Champion, Samson never said you were involved in this. I trust you were here to stop these traitors, not join them. The champion's a fine lady, sir. She wanted to solve this peacefully. Yeah. Put the mage to questioning. The boy stood up to his elders when they would have killed an innocent hostage. Hmm. <laughs> you mean he was one of them, save for a convenient last-minute change of heart? I'll encourage Meredith to take it easy on him. Thank you, champion. Everyone else here is under arrest. Take them to the gallows. Is there any recommendation you would have me bring to Meredith, champion? Ah, uh, let's see. All right, interesting. Um, either I can say they used illegal magic, execute them. Or, she should consider reinstating Samson. When it came down to it, he showed where his heart is. I kind of want both. I mean, execute the ones that were using blood magic. But reinstate Samson, because he has a clear head. I'm going to say the Samson thing more than anything else. And, you know, we should be doing both. Unless, like, oh, execute them would also include Samson, I'm guessing. Like, execute Samson and all that. Okay, well, I mean... 
The argument here is then, I thought at first we were just talking about the mages, but obviously we're talking about the Templars as well. So the Templars are trying to overthrow Meredith, which, you know, is understandable. Um, at least, you know, the logic is if they want to keep the Templars, they just want a different commander who's not crazy. Who knows if people are actually doing that for that reason, but if that's the reason, that makes sense. Um, and then it turns out, surprise, surprise, most of the mages aren't actually doing this for good. They're doing it because they're blood mages. So do we execute the Templars that try to overthrow Marius? And that's where I'll say we should at least tell her that Samson, you know, showed where his heart is. And again, the logic is that we're, she's going to know that he tried to overthrow her. And we're not going to lie and say he didn't try to overthrow her, but he's doing it because he thinks you're too aggressive he still wants to you know uh watch over the mages he just doesn't want to be over uh, you know we'll reason it that way and yes that's what we're gonna say she should consider reinstating samson when it came down to it he showed where his heart is true samson you have done us a great service do you wish to take up the oh that's samson i'm an idiot i thought samson was the bearded More guy than anything night captain sir then i'll see what i can do thank you sir Thank you. I, I completely didn't remember who Samson was. I thought we were talking about our bearded Templar friend. Uh, so Samson was that guy who turned on them. Um, now again, you could say he turned on them because he saw like I was coming. And he like did that to get out of it. But fuck it, I, I'm, I'm still fine with saying, you know. He showed his true colors there by turning back. I'm returning to her. I guess we're returning to a him, maybe. He's gonna give us a quest. Yeah. Your mage Templar group was conspiring to overthrow Meredith. I have a sudden deep regret I interfered. <sighs> you know, I was half convinced Meredith had engineered the whole thing to trick me into incriminating myself. Thrask admitted to leading the group. Perhaps I've exaggerated the depths of her madness. But if she's not there yet, she will be soon. The only question is, once it's clear she cannot lead, will there be anyone left to oppose her? Please accept this as my thanks. It will be of more value to you right now than my friendship. Obviously, I can't use that. What's next? Oh, uh, I can turn in something for Fenris before we have something happen for the quest. Okay, so that should be the quest. We're gonna go to Fenris first. Give him a gift. Take a look at this. 
A blade of mercy? I remember these. You see them in the Imperium. Replicas of the sword Archon Hasarian used to kill Andraste. This one looks finely crafted. I thought it might be worth something. It is. Here, let me show you. These are gifts of honor, given to those who have performed a service for the Imperium. Denarius coveted them, as I recall. I'd like you to have it. For me? Yes. I think I'd like that. I'll think of the irony as I wield it. Thank you, Hawk. See. The manual says. Another message. Uh, you have proven yourself a friend to the mages. Seems I must calling you again. Mary has gone too far. That letter of madness remain unchecked. Interesting. It says friend to the mages. Okay. Champion, thank the Maker you've come. What's happened? First Enchanter Orsino got into a terrible argument with the Knight Commander. He stormed off to bring the matter before the Grand Cleric, but the Knight Commander gave chase. I fear there will be blood. Then take me to them, before that happens. I will have the tower searched, top to bottom. You okay. cannot do that. You have no right. I have every right. You are harboring blood mages, and I intend to root them out before they infect this city. Blood magic? Where do you not see blood magic? My people cannot sneeze without you accusing them of corruption. Do not trifle with me, mage. My patience is at an end. A wonder that I never saw it begin. So already, she wants to search the tower, and he says she can't do that, but she actually can do that. And I see nothing wrong with her searching the tower for blood magic with all the blood mages popping up. So that, by itself, justified. This needs to stop. You came. This does not involve you, champion. I called her here. I think the people deserve to know just what you've done. What I have done is protect the people of this city time and again. What I have done is protect you mages from your curse and your own stupidity. And I will not stop doing it. I will not lower our guard. I dare not. Fighting Meredith won't help matters. Is that all it's ever going to be? Are we mages to be forever persecuted for being what we are? The mere act of defending ourselves? Confirmation of our guilt? What other option do we have? Tell me, champion, that you have not seen with your own eyes what they can do. Heard the lies of mages that seek power. I have seen that. Many times over. And we must fight such evil, but you cannot assume it exists in us all. I know, and it breaks my heart to do it, but we must be vigilant. If you cannot tell me another way, do not brand me a tyrant. This is getting us nowhere. Grand Cleric Athena will put a stop to this. You will not bring her grace into this. The Grand Cleric cannot help you. Explain yourself, mage. I will not stand by and watch you treat all mages like criminals. While those who would lead us bow to their Templar jailers. How dare you speak to the me? The circle has failed us, Orsino. Even you should be able to see that. The time has come to act. There can be no half measures. Anders, what have you done? There can be no turning back. Have 
mercy. There can be no peace. Elfina, no! Make her, no! She was your most faithful, your most beloved. Why didn't she listen to me? Blessed be the souls of the faithful that they ascend to your right hand. Why? Why would you do such a thing? I removed the chance of compromise, because there is no compromise. The Grand Cleric has been slain by magic. The Chantry destroyed. As Knight Commander of Kirkwall, I hereby invoke the right of annulment. Every mage in the circle is to be executed. Immediately! The circle didn't even do this! Champion, you can't let her help us stop this madness! And I demand you stand with us. Even you must see that this outrage cannot be tolerated. Why are we debating the right of annulment when the monster who did this is right here? I swear to you, I will kill him. It can't be stopped now. You have to choose. Yeah, it's so weird that he's just here and no one cares. I remember this being so wild though because no matter what you do, this happens. So whether you're a friend or rival with him, he just does this. And this is where, we'll get the conversation out of the way, but this is where I just have to... I mean, we'll talk about it. There's no good choice, but I feel like one's a bad choice and the other's an awful choice. <laughs> but oh well. I could have stopped you. No. This had to happen. The Circle is an injustice. In many places beyond Kirkwall. The world needs to see. Elfina is not the Circle. She was a good woman, and you murdered her! You fool! You've doomed us all! We were already doomed. A quick death now or a slow one later. I'd rather die fighting. You're a murderer. The Grand Cleric, the mages, their blood is on your hands. I know. It doesn't matter. Even if I wished to, I could not stay my hand. The people will demand blood. All right, so this is where we have the choice. Um, so again, we choose the side with the mages. Of course, there are some good mages, some innocent mages, but there are also a lot of blood mages. We just heard from someone from the circle that he said almost the entire circle is made up of blood mages. So the vast majority of the circle from their own people is blood mages. So we know that this specific circle largely is bad but you can also guarantee there are some innocent ones there, including Bethany, hopefully. <laughs> you would hope she's not a blood mage too. Um, so that's where the other end, siding with the Templars. The annulment is killing every single mage in the circle. And again, most of them are blood mages, but there are innocents. So if you side with the mages, it's a bad choice because you know for a fact that the vast majority are evil. But if you side with the Templars, you know for a fact that you will be murdering innocent people. And also, Meredith has been the extreme here. She's been the troublemaker. Not that there's not winning have been blood mages before and all that, but she has really encouraged them. So she is an issue. But again, you have a bad choice helping the blood mages, <laughs> or you have an awful choice murdering the innocent mages. And that's what's cool. There's no good choice. I will say the one story thing, which again, I'm glad that Sebastian mentioned it, that feels flawed is, yeah, we're just letting Andrews here just, 
do what he wants. Like, he has murdered them, and we're all just talking about it right now. They would have immediately seized him and everything. So that's one thing I feel is weird. But, you know, otherwise, choice-wise, it is cool that you never have a good choice. But again... I... I'm going Pro Templar just to do it, because it's different than what I did before. But, like, again, it's just so awful, knowing we're going to kill innocent mages. I, like, in my character's head... <sighs> Like, she, she said out loud, we're going to kill all of them. So even Bethany's getting killed. Which is what's wild. Like, if if we had, uh, like, again, I don't know what determines which sibling you have. If we had the Templar sibling, this would have been a little easier. Still would have had this whole killing in a sense, but we wouldn't have to worry about our sibling being killed. But now we have our sibling also being killed. So, okay, in my character's head... God, because I want to say that she, she thinks that she'd be able to, you know. Okay, let's pretend that Meredith didn't mention we're going to kill them all, even though she did, and that's the whole point here. My character would be down with us storming the tower, arresting everybody. Obviously, many blood mages will reveal themselves and fight us, but we arrest everybody, look for all the evidence, go through all that shit. No problem, that's not even a choice, that's obvious, but that's not what we're dealing with. But, I don't know, somehow in her head, <laughs> she, she knows the propensity of blood magic, she knows there's so many of them here, but like, there, she, she thinks there's some way, somehow, that, you know, the innocence will <laughs> reveal themselves. It's not gonna happen, but again, we have to go pro, pro Templar, and I'm trying to fucking explain it, but whatever. Um, yeah. It seems I have no choice but to side with you. Your first act must be to execute this traitor. She is a monster. If you help her, you become one as well. It's unfortunate, but it's the only way. The mages cannot hide behind their rights when they endanger so many. Crushing the rebels, are we? How dare they wish for freedom? Don't do this. Don't make me choose between my people and my family. Think carefully, champion. This is not justice. There is no justice. I'm not defending you, Orsina. Very wise. Are you sure about this? You know she's going to murder people whose only crime was being born a mage. Innocent people will be hurt in the fighting. We have to make this as quick and painless as possible. That that is I think true. We agree that nobody actually. wants mages and templars fighting in the streets. All we can do now is try to keep casualties to a minimum. That's actually true. Holy shit. You're right. This decision They made a logical argument hands. for this horrible Stop choice. Him. I will warn the others. Gather right. our forces. We will deal with this. Uh, let's see just normal mages for now. Oh, it's just me. Oh, I'm not controlling them. They're just here. Okay. Uh. Hey, which one does this do? This is attack speed, movement speed. Now let's go for the stun. There we go. Much better. So, it begins. I must gather my forces at the gallows. Oh, just Meet me there as there. soon as you can, champion. I'll leave this murderer for you to deal with. He's your companion. Do as you see fit. There's nothing you can say that I haven't already said to myself. I took a spirit into my soul and changed myself forever to achieve this. This is the justice all mages have awaited. So you start a massacre to prove a point? I'm not proving a point. I'm changing a world. The people fear what we can do. But to use that fear to bludgeon us into submission is wrong. And they do it with our blessing. And if I pay for that with my life, then I pay. Perhaps then justice would at least be free.
You have to pay for what you've done. I know. The sooner I die, the sooner my name lives on to inspire generations. <laughs> cool story, bro. Bye. It will never be enough, but it's a start. How invigorating. We'd all best get to the gallows. And quick. It's going to be quite a show. Uh... Is the only one we lost Anders, really? So everyone else sides with me. That's cool. Alright, uh, we have our sustains on. What kind of reward will the Templars give us? A copy of the chant, I hope. Exactly, and no one spoke his name again. We must move quickly, or the battle will be fought without us. At him in front. And of course, immediately have a lockpick chest. Not that we're gonna get anything useful here, I'm sure. Stay where you are! There is no escape! Leave me alone. I never asked for any of this. The law is clear, mage. We cannot take the risk. Keep away from me. I'm warning you. Kill it! Kill it now! Uh, let's see. So the abomination obviously is a target. Bam. right now. Wait. There is a Desire Demon. That. Desire Demon. Huge. And I'll hit there. That one's... She's just chilling all the way out there. Let 
Let me interrupt her. Oh, my debuff. And then assassinate. Good. Him? Nope. guy right there. Okay. Well, fine. I'll just attack that guy, I guess. I don't need to get debuffed, but we'll just stun and play it safe. Okay. So... Yeah, since they're over there, we do want him to come up here. Got the big guy back there. Teleporting to still there. All right, me. on cooldown? No, she needs mana. Lots of dead. Blood mage. And when I go to shield up. Good. The quicker she goes down, the better. Holy shit. Okay. Um. Fuck. Kind of getting fucking grouped up on here.
They are not doing enough damage to get these kills. And I would love to be able to walking bomb someone. Get that, and hopefully that's good. Gearing going here. Oh my god, he got down. Alright. She can't revive, of course. I told you to heal. I don't know why you didn't heal. I'll we'll probably have to redo this. But yeah, fuck it. Might as well redo it. Alright, well that was awful. He did not pull the aggro at all. So the whole time we just had to have me and the mage run in circles, not being able to attack. Alright, if we can get the Blood Mage down quick. Probably too late for this. Oh, good. The walking Bomb did damage half of them. Alright. Uh, now, she is surrounded. I really need her to fucking... ...lose that. That did not really do anything. I'm trying to get him out of that, but he's fucking stuck in there. And I'm stuck in there too. Wow, okay. Well, this just sucks. At least only one person here is attacking the mage. Alright, now he needs a taunt, and at least we can recover from this clusterfuck. Are they all surrounding her? Yeah, because she's still stuck. Awesome. Oh, fuck, dude. And I can't heal her. Because I don't have heals, so she's just gonna die. Yep. This thing should not just sit here for the entire fucking fight. Alright, yeah, we'll get the heal out. Uh, where are you at? Hopefully, you're pulling the aggro. Not doing a good job of pulling the aggro, it looks like. Good god, finally. This was a clusterfuck. And it's still not over. I think we're fine. Wow. That was rough. Ooh. That
Quickly, quickly! I think that's Destiny there. First Enchanter! Stay back! I don't want to fight you! And here you are! Let us speak, Meredith, before this battle destroys the city you claim to protect! I will entertain a surrender, nothing more. Speak if you have something to say. Revoke the right of annulment, Meredith, before this goes too far. Imprison us if you must. Search the tower, I will even help you. But do not kill us all for an act we did not commit. The Grand Cleric is dead, killed by a mage. The people will demand retribution, and I will give it to them. Your offer is commendable, Orsino, but it comes too late. Again, that's what should have been offered in the beginning, and he didn't, which is the problem. Ugh. And I, again, in a normal playthrough, even if I had for some reason chosen Templars before, I would have then said, okay, he's offering it, we'll probably, well, we will take it up, and... Yeah, but we can't. Uh, but, there's also caveats to it where, like, yeah, we still know there's a lot of blood mages. Um, and I can't necessarily say I even believe him anymore, to be honest. But they all just surrender and let us arrest them and investigate and everything. I don't think that's true. Um... She does bring up an interesting point that the people will demand justice. In her mind, it will be killing. And honestly, that, that's pretty true. But technically, being arrested and sentenced is justice too. Uh, but understandable that, you know, it, it's more so killing them to be justice. Uh, can never side with mages without turning off common sense. Yeah, I know. That's the thing. Like, again, it's it's good that there's no good side. Because one, it's it's not so much that the Templars are necessarily wrong. It's just that there are very obvious innocents. But that's why I love that the uh, main character brought up. That no matter what, innocents will die because of the, the war between the two. So even if we side with the mages, the mages will fight the Templars and innocents will die in that fight. So we're willingly killing innocent mages to wipe all the bad mages out. Which is a thing that you do in war. Um, so it's great she brought that up. Uh, so here we are, we're, we're at war, and the one side's claiming to surrender as long as they don't you know, get killed. We'll, we'll follow everything you want, we'll go to jail. But unfortunately, I, I can't believe him, and even if we believe him specifically... Who's to say the other mages, you know, will put down their arms and all that stuff, so... Yeah. Legit do everything wrong they can. Enact legit terrorism attacks, yes, kill Templars, try to help them, yep. It's true, and again, I, I, I love... That the, uh... The one mage told us, like, this is a huge, huge part of it. The mage told us that, like, the entire circle is basically all blood mages. We have inside reports, insiders telling us that almost every single one is a blood mage. So like that's not even <laughs> speculation or observation saying, hey, wow, there's a lot of blood mages here. No, he's telling us this entire circle is corrupt. It's horrible, but... The time for talking is done. I agree. And me? Will you also fight your own sister? You aren't leaving me much choice, Bethany. I didn't want it to come to this. I... Stay strong, child. We must make a stand together, or we are all lost. I... Yes, First Enchanter. So what is it to be, Meredith? Do we fight here? Go. Prepare your people. The rest of the Order is already crossing the harbor. This isn't over.
Let me tell you what is about to happen. We have the unenviable task of entering the gallows and eliminating every mage we find within. You must harden your heart. The magic within them is a disease that, if left unchecked, will spread and fester. We will do what we must. Make her have mercy on their souls. Prepare for the attack. Let me know when you are ready, champion. Hurrah! Well, obviously we're ready. I assume you are ready, champion? What will you do once the mages are dead? This is not the first time the right of annulment has ever been invoked. We will do as others have done before us. Start again. Kirkwall will be rebuilt, stronger than before, and the Circle will know fear. Mm -hmm. This has been a long time coming. I am eager to begin. We're all set, Knight Commander. Good. You will need to give orders to your companions. Do that and the attack may begin. What's that mean? I'll make this quick. I... <laughs> well... You know how I feel. And saying anything more would just be... too much. Just know that I'm going to try my best to keep us both alive. I have plans for us. And most of them involve nakedness. <laughs> if one or both of us were dead, that could get really awkward. That's what they're just picking them. I was like, are we really going to direct them? I should be at your side, Hawk. Aveline, charge in whenever you see an opening. Very well. Sebastian, I need you somewhere with a good vantage. Cover us while we move in. May the Maker favor us now. Varg, stay out of sight. And use your crossbow. Bianca's ready and willing. We didn't want this. The mages, they're our brothers and sisters. It's sad, but still necessary. Kirkwell needs us to set this right. We need order. We lose ourselves. It's the only choice we have. Champion, the attack is about to begin. Break it down! Here they come! Stop them! That was a weird ending to that. Alright, I don't know why I just did that, but okay. Alright, we have Enchanter. Nope, okay, I was trying to interrupt him before he did that. Alright, I kind of wish she went to the right. Oh, she can't go to the right. Alright. I really need to get these guys dealt with since I'm kind of pulling a ton of aggro here. Oh shit. Okay. Do I want to do this or. Mm. Kind of have to pop that there. Too much, so they went out of it immediately. Like, but okay, actually, it's haste, and she can just chug. I don't know where the hell she is. Okay.
Alright, good. They're running up there like they should now. Abomination. Alright. And of course we got demons. Surprise. We could have seen that coming there. Uh, what the hell is she doing? Pulling aggro when she shouldn't. Is that I guess we gotta get closer. But let us live! No! This circle is beyond redemption. Knight Commander, surely the right of annulment requires something more... It requires my word, Cullen. Do as I've commanded. Champion! Will you not defend us? Must we all be slaughtered for the actions of a few? I want to hear what the Knight Captain has to say. I... The right has always been a last resort when every mage involved was beyond salvation. The situation was far more dire in Ferelden's circle, and yet many mages were saved. We could still do as much here. Objection noted, Captain. Is there a way to tell if they're blood mages? There is not. But they haven't resorted to it, even to save their own lives. That's what Perhaps I was thinking. Perhaps if we watch them carefully, we... And if they hope to escape by playing innocent. Will you accept that responsibility, Cullen? Yes. I believe that's what being a Templar is about. And I say we are here to protect the people. We must be judges, jailers, and even executioners. Oh, I was thinking to myself in that cutscene, I was like, oh, did they send all the non-blood mages in front? Because they were fighting without blood magic. And blood mages would defend themselves with blood magic, which is why the ones in the back summon the demons. But I kind of feel like that the uh, blood mages intentionally pushed the ones they needed that weren't blood mages to the front lines. So yeah, if these guys weren't using blood magic, I'd kind of agree with Colin where we should give them the chance. Maybe they can answer some questions. I, I think the first enchanter is still in the tower. He said he had a plan, something that would stop you. Demons or something worse? I don't know. We wanted nothing to do with it, so we ran. Please, help us. We've done nothing wrong. Yeah, they definitely screwed that in a sense, and it makes sense. that They'd know, because all the blood mages would know each other, so thus they'd know who wasn't a blood mage. We kind of can use that to figure out who's innocent here. We're here to prevent a crisis, not raise everything in our path. Listen to the champion. Wow. I was going to say the command is not going to stop them. Yep. 
not happy. Save. Oh well. Um, obviously, is the big one there. And there's traps everywhere. Assassinate? Good. I had to assassinate the really dead, but well. Just the skeleton archers with us. Fire resist, interesting. That Do it. Don't know if they're hinting at something. Alright, two pride demons. Oh wait, don't come into that. No, Isabella. Okay, good. I wasn't sure if that was like was gonna lock us up or not. A minor debuff on you. We're gonna go down quick, but fuck. Okay. You've just. Oh, you. Oh my god, it worked. Okay, thank you. Go ahead and try to petrify him. Actually, no, just stun him. That'll actually work. Whereas the petrified probably wouldn't. Alright. Look at death. Assassinate. Good. Don't run into it, Meryl. God, my AI, both of them are running into it. Like, what the hell? Dude. So it's the other side. Wait. Oh, we can't go in there, all right. Stop. Oh, that's a quick cooldown. Must be because the fight ended. Must be because the fight ended. Let's 
see. My mage is here and she's not being attacked. Oh yeah, the fight ended, so that reset everything. Interesting. He's stuck in here? He is. At least it's just our tank. Better than me being stuck in there. But he is going to die. Hmm. That fire is going to kill him. Yeah, I can't kill him quick enough. There we go. Hopefully killing him ends the uh, shit. Save and find out. Nope. Uh. I mean, there's a specific... No, they're not. I don't know... I don't know what this... Alright. I'm just gonna leave this room. I don't care about that loot. I'm sure it's not good. I don't know what it is, but yeah. Sandal store. Convenient. But, shouldn't be anything that we need. I mean, technically, that is more damage. Oh, I never put a rune in his uh, sword. Also, because I don't think that was his sword. Did they change his weapon on me? Yeah, no. They changed his weapon on me, that's why. Why did they do that? Yeah, they didn't change anyone else's, thankfully. They changed his weapon. <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's... Attacking this guy doesn't pull the aggro.
Just as I suspected all along. Willing sacrifices! Men and women who would have died at your hands anyhow! <laughs> the irony is that until this very moment, I have never used blood magic! Do you take me for a fool? One does not summon such a ritual from thin air! The right belonged to Quentin, a man the champion is familiar with. I put aside his research as too dangerous. But things have changed. Oh my god. Quentin was that serial killer who turned out to be the guy that kidnapped my mom and Frankenstein her. Quentin, we know, was working with someone in the circle. And that person was the first enchanter. He claimed he wasn't doing blood magic, yet he was actively supporting someone who was doing blood magic in the most extreme sense. Someone who was kidnapping, murdering, mutilating, and he was actively supporting that guy. Wow. You were working with that murderer. I knew about him. I kept his existence secret because I didn't want to give Meredith more ammunition against us. But you could have stopped him. You could have saved her. I'm sorry, my dear. I didn't know the extent of his derangement until it was too late. He was a the fucking Maker serial killer. And a blood mage. Evil, like, <laughs> the Maker you knew both of those things. You, all to your deaths. No, you knew you he was experimenting with like that. a resurrection and shit too. I'm like, sorry, child. You knew everything. Justice demands sacrifice from us all. All right, well, that was a revelation. Uh, let's see. Right, so let's do this. Help them. Uh, you can help them with that. As she builds up the chain. Boom. Fascinate. And already almost killed him. There's whatever the hell that is. Where's my mage? You're my mage. See the horror there. Good thing. Oh my god, Isabella's almost dead. I don't know why she's not healing. This is weird. Ally, below 50, heal. She was just doing basic attacks. Alright, this time we're gonna go ahead and hit him, and you can stun him. I'm gonna kill him right there. Oh, okay, so he's scripted, even when he's stunned. Okay. Alright, the big one's back up. Fine. Double debuff. Yeah, there's not too many here. Up in there. 
Nothing else to do, just basic attack. He just stunned the entire time. is the curse that you carry, difficult as it may be to accept. You? Your insanity drove him to this. I will not argue with you, mage. My purpose here is clear. And I'm just one more abomination to be dealt with. Yes, I see what comes next. We've already spared some people. Back away from her, Meredith. I see. Have it your way, then. I will meet you in the courtyard, champion. Thank you. I don't know if I deserve your help. I'm helping you anyway. You can take her with you. I mean, I, I'm tempted to do it just for like thematically. Oh, this would be cool. Um, I just don't want to have to read your tactics and all that. So yeah, no. I know he was helping that serial killer, and th this the serial killer was there for years. Like I think it was like a decade ago is when he started it or something. And it was it's, it's so crazy. It's not just a serial killer, not just a blood mage. He was experimenting on bodies. He was experimenting with resurrection and he was giving him notes so it's not like he only knew a little bit like he knew everything it was so extreme he's like oh but i've never done blood magic i just helped supply it all the materials to the guy and you know i really liked the research he was doing it was super cool when he was kidnapping people and cutting them up in pieces and and reanimating parts of their corpses and and doing all that kind of stuff but you know i didn't do that also, here's some advanced blood magic that I just happened to be able to do. Alright, I'm assuming we'll get another cutscene. Look at all this. Magic is a cancer in the heart of our land, just as it was in the time of Andraste. And like her, we are left with no choice but to purify it with fire and blood. You almost sound as if you're happy to do it. Happy? I would prefer we lived in a world without such sickness, where such madness is unnecessary. But we do not. Even this battle is not yet over. I am beginning to wonder just how large your part in all this actually was. Mm -hmm. A refugee come to our city with an apostate sister, gathering power and influence without any accounting. How can I trust that the mighty champion of Kirkwall is not a worse threat to this city than the Circle? If you want to see a threat to this city, look in the mirror. Huh. Just the sort of misdirection I would expect from you. The people of Kirkwall will mourn your loss, but I will tell them you died battling the mages. A righteous cause. Knight Commander, I thought we intended to arrest the champion. He knew? You will do as I command, Cullen. No. I defended you when Thrask started whispering you were mad, but this is too far. I will not allow insubordination. We must stay true to our path. 
You what recognize is... it, do you not? There we go. Valyrium, taken from the deep roads. The dwarf charged a great deal for his prize. Now it all makes sense. And that's what... See, I already forgot about this. Okay. So when, when that thing all first happened, I figured this would come into play with the entire game. And then just yesterday, I was like, oh, I thought we, you know, the main story, that, that uh, raw lyrium corruption thing, I guess it was just a companion quest. Nope. It is the main story. But also, Bartrin told us he sold it to, and whatever he described her as, this is exactly who I thought he was describing. But I forgot. <laughs> but it all makes sense now. So again, this pure lyrium, it drives people crazy. Because it's some sort of curse or demon or something. And this is why she was so extreme. It also potentially could explain the prevalence of blood magic in Kirkwall. Which we also discussed with the DLC that uh, that the demon or whatever that was under dark Kirkwall. Um, or near Kirkwall, whatever it was. Um, so this whole thing is really the catalyst for all of this. It made her crazy and go extreme. It potentially influenced more blood magic, but very important to note, Orsino was still supporting that serial killer before this was found. So Orsino was still bad. <laughs> so there still would have been blood magic and shit like that. But maybe, I would hazard a guess, you know, talking in character and lore and all that, that more mages were corrupted because this thing was here powering up the demons or something of that nature, thus, you know, influencing more people than they normally would have. Not that Orsino is innocent and that there wouldn't have been blood mages, but I think because there were so many, this is part of it. But 100% Meredith's craziness was amplified because of this. Yeah, the city just needs a napalm shower, yes. The idol poisoned Bartrand's mind in the end. He was weak, whereas I am not. All of you, I want her dead! Enough! This is not what the Order stands for. Knight Commander, step down. I relieve you of your command. My own knight captain falls prey to the influence of blood magic. You all have. You're all weak. Allowing the mages to control your minds. To turn you against me. But I don't need any of you. I will protect this city myself. You'll have to go through me. Idiot boy. Just like all the others. Blessed are those who stand before the corrupt and the wicked, and do not falter! Legal slavery, blood mages everywhere, knight commander sleeps with corrupted lyrium sword, yes. Whole lot of issues. Work sacks. We can keep getting some debuffs in here. Yeah, stun. Alright, let's have Isabel chug right now. Okay, good timing. Begs you for the strength to defeat this evil. Oh. Okay, some Harry Potter stuff here. Defend the castle.
goofy hat. Might as well do this while I'm right next to it. Snakes, we don't need it. I know the hat. <laughs> Got the haste out. Oh, man, that had some power to it. Debuff. Not that important. Let me just make sure we can serve all our cooldowns. Select everyone. Good enough. Yeah, cause she's healing. Good. Not what I meant to do. Fuck. Uh oh. I don't know what this hit, but back the fuck away. Back the fuck away. Back the fuck away. Yep. Thankfully, wasn't that much damage at all. Where is she? Oh, she left? Alright. Buff them. Have his uh, thing up in a sec. Ow, fuck. I think I'd die before you can get that in. Not enough that they.
Word of the slaughter spread quickly. The champion's name became a rallying cry for all mages. <laughs> a reminder of their brutal oppression. She had shown not only what the Templars were willing to do, but that they could be defied. The circles rose up and set the world on fire. <laughs> Here at home, the city all but got down on its hands and knees and begged the champion to rule. As for the rest of us, eventually we all left the champion's side for one reason or another. Well, all of us except for Isabella. You still hear the stories, of course. With each telling they grow, even if... At the core remains the truth. A new legend had been born. So that's it. That's the whole story. Then Meredith turned on the champion. She was to blame. Or that damned idol was. Or Anders. Take your pick. Even so, had the champion not been there, then I suppose Meredith would be ruling the city still. But the champion is not in Kirkwall any longer. So I hear. Isn't it strange how quickly fortunes change? I see. So how is hearing all this going to help? You've already lost all the circles. In fact, haven't the Templars rebelled as well? I thought you decided to abandon the Chantry to hunt the mages. Not all of us desire war, Varric. Please, if you know where the champion is, you must tell me. She is a hero. A woman that the Templars respect. Someone who was there at the beginning. The champion could stop this madness before it's too late. She may be the only one who can. Is that what this is all about? In that case, I wish I could help you. Just tell me one thing, then. Is the champion dead? Oh, I doubt that. Then you are free to go, Varric. May the Maker watch over you during the dark times ahead of us. Same to you, Seeker. Same to you. So... Did you... Gone. Just like the Warden. That is no coincidence. So, do we proceed with the original plan? Or keep looking? It is in the Maker's hands now. We put our faith in him. <laughs>